you're gonna play like this where one itty bitty moment kind of tweaks you the wrong way you know like you think you can win a single fight yeah. and, it, and it doesn't happen why throw away the entire game I mean exactly. he threw it away Actually, that little psychological nuance is exactly why I enjoy, enjoy games like Quake more than I do about StarCraft. Because in a game like Quake, you lose a frag, you know, you spawn again, you have a new chance to turn things around. In a game like StarCraft, you start to lose. It's really hard to pull it back, but in Quake, you know, these comebacks, it's entirely up to you as the player. You're in control of the pacing of the game. You're in control of <laughs> how, you know, the things are going to go. Um, and Walter is right now just throwing that away, but here we go, have final 10 seconds, I think he's pushing this into a score where it's like pretty obvious what Walter was doing, but if this is best of one, then GG Walter, other than that, um, yeah. we might see one more chance It is, here. we're heading straight over to the next match. Alright, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Well played, couldn't do shit, man, you got a lot better, damn, man, competition too tough, fuck, left in the dust, good game, guys, well played. Which is gonna be decoy versus swooped. Should be good stuff. A little bit of a grunge match. Silent Gamers grunge match right here. So we're going to head over to that server. It should be up now. And uh, we'll, we'll get that underway as soon as possible. Yeah, this, this is going to be another round one match. So it, it does kind of suck because, yeah, the, the, the first round is best of one. But it does mean that only one of these players is moving on here. So decoy and swooped. Uh, this is basically, you know, their tiebreaker that they almost inevitably hit whenever they play. It's... Uh, We've seen some fantastic matches between these two guys. A little oh, bit of yeah. grunge going, uh, grudge going on, so... I guess grunge too, right? Why not? Um, although actually with Pick Mip, I guess things look nice and pristine. Oh well. I'm gonna let them know that we are all set and ready to go. Now of course we know that uh, Swooped made it into the finals after handling... Uh... Actually, was it was it Decoy that, that got him in, into the... The finals there against the noobs, was that it? Or my opinion? I don't know, you lost me in handling. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, so Swooped, um, I, I can't remember who, who he played to, um, of course, he was coming, he was coming all the way from the winner's bracket the entire, entire time. Um, it was the noobs who made it, uh, the big comeback, so. We're gonna go live right now. We're gonna watch uh, Swooped out of the gate. And it looks like he goes straight for red, and he uh, does make the jump. Oh. Doesn't dodge the rebound of the nade that hits him in the ass. Decoy backs off to the mega, goes straight for a lightning gun. A very critical weapon to pick up, because right now he only has one grenade to his name. And it's a race to this rocket launcher, and it looks like Swooped is going to win it. Be Decoy's laying down the law with that lightning gun, and Swooped just kept walking into it, baby. That 36% LG for that first battle, not bad at all. Ballsy, ballsy play by Swoop there to try and just deny that weapon. He knew that his pwn was going to have a decent stack, but with that concentration on the stack, he just wanted to keep him off of that vital weapon. But Decoy shows, hey, I got an LG, I'm happy. And just about a minute into this match, this ballsy play means that Decoy is going to have a pretty good stance at, at looking at control here for the next couple minutes. But Red Armor's coming up in one second. Decoy's looking around the corner, and the grenades are popping. But OMGs, oh, that LG. Wow. Just that was over 50%. Around the park, holy crap! And now he's made a, some kind of jump for it. Um, not quite where it needed to be though, and that leaves it open for decoy. But again, uh, true to his name, he's not going in for the bait. He's just kind of backing off, leaving that red armor up for the time so being, and just looking to deny his opponent resources. Yeah, so nice control so far by a decoy, and he's even going to pick up the. Uh, plasma yellow armor. So we're going to take a look. Swooped has no armor and five seconds until this one comes up. Decoy can cover it if he's quick enough. Because he's got plenty of time for red and mega. So he might come down here and try to do some... Nope, he's going to give it away. So now Swooped has uh, 50 armor to his name. And here comes the red in three. Let's see if there's going to be a big fight for it. This is, uh, this is kind of crazy. Like, Swooped isn't in no condition to fight. So he's just, just going to look to do damage. But, oh, Decoy's waiting way too long. Look at this. Now mega's coming up. And it looks like Decoy is going to leave it there, try to set a trap. This is so weird. If he gives away... Yeah, he gave away Mega. Swoop played that perfectly. Uh, big mistake oh, by mistake. Decoy. Giving that into a trade. Maybe he didn't have timing exactly, but... I mean, you can kind of guess it, because here's the thing. Now, I can understand if you don't have timing later on in the match, but that was like... 
the second cycle of, of power-ups, you know, or third, I guess. So, Ooh. I mean, there's nothing funky there, so you can just kind of go by on average. Okay, I look at the clock. Only about a minute and 50 have you know, have passed, so how many pickups could there have been? You just kind of do some math, and you go, okay, chances are there wasn't really any delay on anything, so I know that I have about 10 well, seconds. Well, the delay that decoy initiated. There was a good 10 yeah, but, delay there. But, but he knows it. Like, he knows the number. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, why, like, there never should have been a trade between Mega and Red there. Uh, he should have had red and then been sitting on top of Mega for it to spawn. So that's eh, okay. He he didn't lose any frags, but he gave Swoop the way in. And uh, although he's uh, winning with rockets, nice switch up to the LG here, and actually going to force Decoy away. Let's go take a look at Swoop. Yeah, they're about to even stack. And um, th that was a nice switch up by Swoop, forcing it to an LG fight after hitting the better of the rockets. But here's the thing, Decoy has lost track of where Swoop is coming from. He's going from around the corner, throwing out a rail. Decoy just kind of ducking out, seeing if he can make a play for this red armor. That LG across the way. Yeah, but those rails, those are trading everything out. They both fall down, and Swoop comes in and just lands on top of him with a grenade right to the noggin. And that is going to be a four minute, just about one on one tie here. Swoop now baiting out the yellow armor, backing away from some of these rockets because that's all that Decoy has. But now Swoop is in the position where he can really just put the pincher on a lot of these items. I mean, uh, with that rocket launcher, uh, Decoy might be able to make a push in for this next uh, red armor, but other than that, Swoop is looking really solid here. But he looks a little nervous. He knows he knows he's momentarily in control, but you can see that he really wants to keep it that way. Yeah, and actually, he just hit a great spot here because, uh, oh, wow, look at these rockets coming out from Decoy. He's got to back out of that fight. Uh, Swoop started that with 200 armor, folks. He started out with 200 armor and ended up with 34 and about... Uh, eh, like 30-ish. So, Decoy, you know, honestly, the things that are keeping him in this, uh, he's had phenomenal lightning gun aim at the very start of this, and that set of rockets has been, like, they basically the critical, I'm going to get back in this game and even this fight. So he's picked up Mega, Decoy, and uh, Swooped, on the other hand, has picked up Red Armor. So we're seeing sort of a, uh, a trade-off in terms of stack uh, between health and armor. Decoy's got the health, and Swooped has the armor. But other than that, they're about even. A little bit of a splash damage pass back and forth, and Swooped has the better position to get this Red Armor cheekily. And he's going to do a rocket jump for it, and he's able to pick up the armor after the LG damage hits, the brunt of the LG damage hits, and he backs off, and he's able to get away with 50 health after the 25, and about 100 armor. So not too too bad, but the only thing is that Decoy gets Mega free. Now, had it been more along the lines of Decoy gets Mega and then gets shot with a rocket or a grenade or a rail or something, then Swoop would have won there, but to be quite honest, uh, oh, back for red and ooh, Decoy is late again, so Swoop is now in the better position. Although and now he's, he's got a little rockets. bit of damage coming out of this. He doesn't have any of that mega. That's one rail hit, though. But Swoop still has plenty of armor here. But Decoy definitely has the upper ground right now. Going through this teleport is going to be a little bit iffy. He's delaying the move yeah, through for mega. Oh, they're both going for Mega. Decoy. Oh, there's a rail right between the legs. But this is Decoy moving in for the mega health. And Decoy actually landed a nice couple uh, rails there as he went in for that. Red armor's back up, but Swoop, I don't know if he has timing on it. No, he nope. doesn't. Decoy is going to be getting the grab and getting away from this mostly clean and free. Swooped, he's still looking at a pretty good stack. He's about 100-100, but right now, Decoy has had the upper ground here. You look at this, Swooped has been, like, backing away from these fights for the past 30 seconds, and this is going to be a vital 30 seconds in the match, cause especially considering that we're still tied 1-1 one to -one here. Well, one of the biggest things is that uh, it, at the start of that exchange, Swoop's railgun shot came in before the Mega Health, so it meant that Decoy was able to run that with 200 health, and we can see that you know, he's able to line up the second mega health here uh, in a row, and so he's you know still yet to be hit. Swoops has been written, finally gets a little bit of splash, only about 10 points of health and armor, and Decoy hitting a nice square rocket. Rocket jumps oh, up and yes. gets the second frag. It is now two to one, and Swoop putting himself in a really bad position. Here comes the LG, and it should be a frag easy one coming up. And uh, honestly, Decoy denying the LG. Oh, that's another frag. Here comes number three. Oh wow, he can drop back down for Mega without any trouble. Oh, no, this is a weird choice. But now Swoop's gonna get Mega. Decoy could have uh, gotten position on the lightning gun. The only thing Swoop could have come at him with was grenades and maybe a rail gun. But Decoy, I think, could have survived that and gotten to the Mega. Especially with lightning gun. But either way, he's still just 
grunts his way through a